Who do you know that is a religious fanatic? Hi, this is Father Jonathan Meyer. Welcome to Peace on Earth. So who do you know that like makes you feel kind of awkward uh, when you're around them because they love the Lord Jesus so much? When I think about John the Baptist, I'm always just like, man, he freaked people out. Like not only did he like live in the desert for many years because he loved God so much and he wanted the Messiah to come, but he also like wore weird clothes and he ate weird food. So like, think about the religious fanatics that you know, and I'm like, I'm not saying that like in a real negative way, but like, think about the people you know that are like super, super like pious and devout. And then think about John the Baptist. And notice what was said about him today in Matthew chapter 11, verse 11. And many say to you, among those born of women, there has been none greater than John the Baptist. That's what Jesus said about his religious fanatic friend. And yet we shun these people that make us feel awkward because they love the Lord so much. And yet John the Baptist was like, hey, just so you know, no one's greater than he. Maybe it's an opportunity for us to be like, wow, who am I listening to in this world? Am I listening to the news? Am I listening to my podcasts? Or maybe I should be listening to the call of John the Baptist. Maybe I should be listening to someone who asks me to change my life radically and to believe in the Lord Jesus. John the Baptist preached like a lion. So much so that he lost his head as he told the local politicians, King Herod, about his adultery. Seems to me we might need some John the Baptists in our world who are willing to say what needs to be said. And maybe we also need to listen the John the Baptists in our world who are calling people to repentance. Let's pray for conviction. Let's pray for openness and receptivity. Don't miss out. Don't judge. And don't write off. Be willing to be challenged. It very possibly might be John the Baptist speaking to you. Let's be challenged this Advent season. Let's live the challenge and find peace and joy. Through God's grace, may it be so. Amen.